guys, so today we're going to be replacing the fork seals on my 2009 KX100. So, here's a little tip from the start, is that when it's still in, top, loosen this top bolt, so then you're not going to be struggling with like trying to hold it in, loosen at first. So we have the fork right here, and what we're going to do is start loosening this, and when you loosen this, so it's going to loosen from this part here, but there's also a shaft in there that you also have to loosen after you get this part off. So you're just going to kind of unloosen this. Okay, pull it up. There you go. So you see, here's this shaft in here. You're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench and then a 30 on top and what you do is you pull down your spring and then you'll grab your wrench which is right here and put that on okay. right there so now we're going to pull down this spring so then we can get it to get a 17 millimeter wrench onto this bolt right here to take this top off so I'm just going to pull it down and i'm just going to get it on there okay i got this You're good and then grab a 30 millimeter in the top and just start unloosening. And be careful because this is aluminum. So now I'm pretty sure I can just do it by hand. Go ahead. And just get that right off. Oh. Move your fingers so I can see. So good. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. You can just loosen. Oh, okay. Now we just can easily just take that right off. Okay, don't forget that washer. And we also have a washer right on the bottom here, as you can see. And pull it off and show. Them. So here's our washer. And I like to just set it right there and then set it on a right upside down. And we've also already had this fork apart, so that's why the shaft just dropped down in there. Normally there would be oil in here. We've already taken the oil out, and it would hold the shaft up. Yep. So now we take the spring out and then just set that on like a right or something. Now we're going to flip it upside down, and I'll show you how to get it apart, basically. So just, we're doing this over a, a drain pan. A drain pan. So it, we make sure that if there is still oil left, that we're not going to get it all over the floor. Okay. okay, so the next step is to take out the dust seal. And how you're going to do that is just take like a piece of plastic or a screwdriver and just kind of wedge this apart. So this is aluminum, so it's going to be really easy to mark it up. So just be very careful. Now I'm going to be able to take this out with my hands because, again, we've already taken this one apart. Yeah. So we're just going to take this right off, all right, like, for just a second, like that. So what you're going to find underneath this dust boot is going to be the fork seal, but also the clip. This clip retains the fork seal, and it also holds together the upper and lower part of the fork. On the first fork we did, there was some rust on this clip, so we put some WD-40 on it, and it came out a lot easier, and then... The opening, we started at the opening to take it out and just worked our way all the way around it until it came out. Okay, so the next step is we're going to take apart the fork. So how you do this is you're going to just pull apart the two parts of the fork like a slide hammer to get to the fork seal and to get the fork seal out. So let's do it. Okay, now that we have the fork apart, so to get to the fork seal to take it off, you're going to have to go get take this off and just kind of pull it apart with your fingers to get it off and then slide this off and this off and then take the fork seal off. And Here are the bushings. Um, You're going to inspect them for wear and then clean them up. This is the lower part of the fork. You're going to inspect this and clean it up. Okay, so now we're going to put on the new fork seal. We have this glove on here because we don't want it to damage the fork seal. The ways that can happen is from this top and then these two ledges. Um, we're also going to be using some oil to help us slide on a lot quicker and easier. The glove idea is not ours. Um, we saw someone else on YouTube do it. Okay, so all we have done is put 
the new fork seal on and then all the bushings and everything. And now we're going to put this in the upper part of the fork. Okay, and so now the next step is going to be to put in some oil and then cycle the oil to get the air bubbles out. How you do that is you're just going to pull the dampener rod up and down until you feel some resistance. Once you feel a good amount of resistance, then you know that all the air bubbles are out. And then you're going to put in the spring, also the top cap, the first thing we took off, and then put it back on your fork, tighten up the fork bolt, clamp bolts, and that's pretty much it.